Hey there, Vanessa DeBerlay here. And today we are going to learn how to set up our SEO metadata. And what the heck is that? I don't even know what it means, but I do know how to set it up and I'm going to show you why you want to set it up. Sometimes we follow all these directions and we do what we're told. We put in all the pieces, but we're not really sure why. And as a teacher, when I understand why I'm doing something that helps me to make sure I do it again. So let's do that. All right. Look up here at the tab. Do you see where it says click funnels, mastering funnels or marketing funnels? I think it says, I want to change that. I want that to be my tab so that people know they're coming to my funnel. That's what you're changing. So let's go into our edit, our page. I'm on the opt-in page. All right. I'm going to open it. Now, some of you probably have already set this up, but I want to show you what changes. Now, this is called, when I go in here, it's called the Granito Squeeze page. Well, I used one of the templates that were in ClickFunnels, and it was called Granito Squeeze page. And I don't want it to say that when I push my funnel out. Now, this is just a demo funnel, so it's not one that I'm using, but I like to use it as an example. But you want to go over here to where it says Settings, and it says SEO Meta Data. Let's open that up. And we're going to move our screen over just a little so you can see it. Okay, there we go. All right. See where the title says Granito Squeeze Page? Well, we're going to change the title to Vanessa's <laughs> page. Not that um, that's what we're going to call, but I want you to see how clear. Now, see, you can see the tab already changing up there. Let's bring this in just a little bit. There you go. See how that tab just changed? I can call it whatever I want. I could call it health and fitness, weight loss, whatever I want to call it. Then I want to give it a description. A page to help lose weight. All right. And then I want to put some keywords in there. And that's where the SEO comes in, search engine optimization. So any, any keywords that you can think of that are going to help people come to this page. I'm not going to type them in now, but we could put click funnels. We could put weight loss. I could put my name because I want people to associate me with the page. I can put my business name, anything that you can think of uh, keywords that you've been using to help with that search. And then you're going to put the author. You're going to put your own name in here. Then there's a social image. I always go in and find the same image that's on my opt-in page and I just use that again. Oops, I just clicked it and it disappeared. There it goes. So I'm going to double click that. It's already in my file and it's going to pop up here. So again, this is what I want to point out to you. I want you to look all the way up here in the left-hand corner. See how that turned into Vanessa's page or let's say we're going to call it health and fitness or let's call it lose weight. And that will stay in it. Now, your next question probably is, well, how do I change that little click funnel symbol next to my title? That's actually called a flav a flavicon. <laughs> I don't know how to say it right, but I'm going to show you in tomorrow's video how to change that. So we're going to save what we've just done and we're going to come back to the same page tomorrow. So let's save it. And I'm going to show you how to change that little Flavicon that's up there in the heading. Okay. In the tab, and then it becomes yours and it becomes unique. It's pretty cool. Give me a thumbs up. If that helped you today, again, you may have already been doing that, but I think I made like two or three funnels, honestly, in the beginning. And I wasn't really sure why I was doing that, but I did it because it was in the directions. And then one day I noticed, oh, the tab name is changing. Um, and so now I'm really cognizant of checking that tab every single time because every page has to be fixed. So pay attention to the tab. That's where you fix it. Hopefully that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until tomorrow, we'll learn how to do that little Flavicon.